Hi, I'm Alicia Rye. Welcome to a very special on-location edition of Quarantine Cuisine. I don't have a kitchen here, uh, but what I do have is a lovely beach. This is Bombay Beach. It is uh, close to Palm Springs in California. It has a population of 200 people. Uh, it's kind of ghost town, which is why it's very quiet here. Hang on. It's so quiet. Very quiet. And the cool thing about this place is like there's a lot of artists and stuff and so you can see a couple of like the art installations on the beach themselves. It's very cool and I thought what would be a great way to spend a day in quarantine and it is going to a ghost town and having a little picnic. One issue with that is that it's currently 109 degrees out here so I do not think we can have our picnic on the beach but I did make drinks. I made two of my favorite drinks. Uh, one is um, whiskey sour and one is a, uh, <laughs> I heard it called like, it was called serotonin, serotonin booster and it, that's basically what it is, but it's a lovely tropical drink. So I'm gonna show you how to make those and then we're gonna sip them in a place that is not 109 degrees. Like my vanity is the only thing keeping my hair down right now. If I had scissors, I would cut it off. That is how hot it is. Woo! So let's make those drinks and we're gonna we're gonna drink them maybe a little closer to the water or maybe somewhere somewhere just just let's just get out of this get out of this heat come on just get out of the heat. <laughs> Start with one mango easiest way to cut a mango is to turn it into four quadrants. So one, two, three, Look at that. Mm. And four. And what you got in the middle is the seed. If you're like my mom, you keep the seed forever and then you plant it and make more mango trees. Very annoying. You throw all the seeds away. And we're just going to try to take as much of the meat off of that seed as we can. You don't want to waste anything. Oh, look at that. This is a good ripe mango. It's peeling right off. I need a knife for this one. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is a nice juicy mango. So if you can use your fingers, use your fingers, otherwise use a knife. If I'm just eating the mango for eating purposes, I don't bother to peel it. I just bite right in and use my teeth to take it off of the skin. It works. Pretty well. We're gonna do two ounces of rum. This is Malibu. I love Malibu, it's my favorite. Two, maybe three ounces of rum. Delicious Malibu. This is passion fruit, fruit puree. We're gonna do an ounce of that. And then we're just gonna top it off with orange juice. And then it's just pineapple orange juice. We're just gonna put it there we go. We're gonna add some ice. Mm. Delicious. Okay, let us put it in here. blender and we're just gonna give it a little okay and that is done this is another great drink a whiskey sour so you fill your shaker with ice two ounces lemon juice very easy whoa two ounces of simple syrup I bought this pre-made, but you can make your own simple syrup. You just heat up water and sugar. You don't want it to boil, you just want it to melt into the water. It thickens a little bit, it comes like this nice syrupy 
consistency. You can also make a little honey and that's delicious. You just do honey and water. And we're gonna do two ounces, four ounces. <laughs> we're gonna do four ounces of whiskey. Now keep in mind this is for two people, not one. But if you make it for one person, no one's gonna judge you. No one will know. And personally, I don't really care about whiskey. Oh no! Oh, no, 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 no. It's almost a three. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Jameson. Yeah. There we go. Look at that puppy. Four ounces of whiskey. I'm just gonna pop it on. It's gonna turn really cold. Look at that frostiness. And that's it. You're done. It is delicious. <laughs> and it's done. Even though I made those drinks at home, I filled them up in my trusty swell bottles. And here we are. And honestly, now that I'm a little bit closer to the water, it's still really freaking hot and I do not think I can actually have my whole picnic out here, but we'll have a couple sips. And as you can see, I'm near like one of the cool art installations here. Mm. Bless you, Mr. Swell. Oh, that is a nice pineapple, mango, tropical, serotonin booster. Mm. Oh, you can't even taste the rum, which is very dangerous. The cool thing about uh, a ghost town that's been taken over by artists is that this is kind of a weird um, influencer haven. Like they come here and they, you know, do photo shoots and stuff. And I mean, maybe it's the heat. We haven't really seen too many people out here today. But my next book, the heroine, is an influencer. So that's the real reason I wanted to come out here because I thought it would be a cool place um, for her to come with the hero. And there are stories that people's cars sometimes get stranded on the sand here. And there is a hotel in town, and it doesn't look like it has a lot of rooms. So maybe there's only one bed for them to stay in for the night? You can't see me, but I just winked. Maybe you can. Yeah. No? Oh, I made the noise. You got it. Anyway, um, I am melting through the sand. So I'm, I'm going to walk the beach a little bit more, possibly, just to get my two and a half hour drives experience in. I'm going to sip my little mango drink and my my cleverly hidden in my oh look at listen to that ice is still good after three hours um in my starbucks um tumbler my my whiskey like i'm some kind of undergrad hiding my vodka in a water bottle or that's what i've heard undergrads do i don't know i read a lot so anyway thank you for joining me for this beautiful beautiful um, experience here on Bombay Beach. I will have photos and stuff on my Instagram, so please follow me there. Um, and and have a great have a great socially distant day. I hope you find a nice little ghost town that you can get lost in. And if not a ghost town, maybe just a quiet place where you're not around a lot of people and you can't don't have to wear a mask because there's literally literally nobody literally nobody for for anywhere for miles and miles and miles. So have a great day and we'll see you next time on Quarantine Cuisine.